Leeds fans. Here's a cool card trick that was created by a, by Con Tricks. You can click on the link here for Con Tricks. Um, he created this trick called Flip It. And what it is is stuff about you trying to get cards to match. And so I'll just go ahead and show it to you. Now, pick which deck do you want. Let's say you want the red deck. And I'll take the blue deck. Now, now take the, let's move the blue deck out of the way. If you take the red deck, cut it like that, then flip the card over, say you get the six of clubs, put it like that, and then put the bottom half on top. Now, now what we need to have happen is, we need to try to get the cards to match. So, What's the po what's the possibility of the cards matching? Well, we have 52 cards in each deck, so we have so it would be 152 chance about the cards matching. So so we might find one match or two match or maybe three matches, or maybe four matches. But really, the possibility of this happening is 152. Now, 152 is not is not a lot of luck. Well, we found a match there, and so, so as we know, 152 is not uh, is not good luck, and we're looking for the card here. We've only found one match. Well, we found the six of clubs. Move these out of the way. And we're gonna see, let's see if my six of clubs can match your six of clubs. And yes, it will. Let's try that one more time. So, this time, you take the blue deck. This time, you take the blue deck. Let's move the red deck out of the way. So, got the cards. Cut the cards, flip over the next card. Wow, six of spades. Perfect. Now, we're going to try to get the six of spades to match. So, what's the possibility of this happening two consecutive times? Well, we said last time that there was a 1 in 52 chance. And that we w and that, which means there would be one in fifty-two times one in fifty-two, which would be which would be one in two thousand seven hundred four. Well, we just found your your six of sp the six of spades. Let's see if I let's see this if we can match this. And yes, it, and yes, we do. All right. Here's how the trick is done. Let's set it back up real quick, and then I'll show you. Now, what you need to do is you need to sh you need, at the beginning, which I didn't do this. You need to show the decks to the spectator and make them sh and make them know that they're not in a random order, but really that they're in a random order. But really, they're not in a random order. They're reversed from each other. See, in the blue deck, the, the blue deck's in the random order. But the red deck is in the opposite order from the blue deck. So what you do is you ask the spectator to pick a deck. Let's say they want the red deck again. So let's get the blue deck. Let's move the blue deck out of the way. And so you take. So you make them cut the cards. Let's do a bigger cut than that. And. And let's say they land on the nine of clubs. Now make them now. That, now tell them to put it on on the other pile face up, and then put this and then put this pile on top. And now the trick is set up to work. So you, so now start flipping over the cards, just like this. And as you're flipping over the cards, keep talking to the spectator and talk about probability. 
and say how there's a 1 in 52 chance of this happening and keep talking to them about this because if you're just not doing a thing except for just flipping the cards over like how I'm doing now if you're just if you're just not if you're just not doing it, if you're just not talking it then the spectator's going to get bored and the spectator the, and spectators don't like it when tricks get boring and so a way how to keep keep them entertained is to keep talking about probability well we've land on nine of clubs again and and it's gonna work now another here's a cool thing about this trick this this trick can easily be reset so here's how to reset it take the red deck and you can take these cards and put them on the top or the bottom let's say we put them on the top now we take the blue cards and we put them on the bottom if we put the red cards on the bottom then we'd have to put the blue cards on the top now we take the spectator card and put it either the bottom or on the bottom or the top let's say we want to put it on the bottom then we take the red deck and put the and put the spectators card on the top so now and they're still reversed from each other and you can do this and you can finish up the trick by doing this thing called the Gilbert principle the Gilbert principle and this thing called a make a deck bet which is where and I don't have a video for this, but just take take the cards and then just spread them out, and then take the top 52 cards, and then you get and you can make a new deck of cards. So hope you like that trick. Let me know what you think. That's it. I'll see you later.